today I'm going to show you a summertime hack. Right now, I've had a gangbuster season with my niece and bees, and they're starting to really fill up those tubes. So what I'm going to do is use some needle nose pliers or some tweezers. I'm going to gently pull out a full tube, and without disturbing the nest too much, replace it with an empty tube in that exact spot. That leaves the nesting material in an orientation so the bees can find where they're going. A second thing I'm going to do is look and watch and see if I can see any Houdini fly. I'm in an area where that's predominant and I'm looking around the edges, underneath the eaves and under the house. And I'm lucky and so far this season I'm not seeing any, but it's something you can check when you're doing your quick little transition. Final thing to do is to add a spritz of our handy dandy pheromone and that does help with keeping the mason bees attracted to the nest. Thank you so much. Empty reeds. I'm going to start at the bottom and slowly take one out. And then I'm going to try to replace it with one, just like that. And I'm going to do it one at a time, and then I'm going to put them in the cup with the clay side up. When I'm so now that I've collected my reeds and they're the cap size up so we have the clay ends up what i'm going to do is go ahead and put them in a bee guard bag we want to keep them safe from any kind of pests or predators and then i'm going to set this into an area that's going to have nice outdoor temperatures not too hot but some place where they still have the warmth to continue their development right now they're eggs they're going to go into larva and finally become an adult in a cocoon at the end of fall. So that's where we want to do. These are going to be set to a researcher who is looking into the life cycle of the mason bees. So we're getting a lot done today.